We are on the top of uh, uh, the Copenhagen Waste to Energy Plant, Amarbaga or Copen Hill. And here you will be able to, to ski on top of the Waste to, to Energy Plant. You will not ski on snow, you will ski on, on plastic mats like this. And therefore we would also, when we open, we will be open 365 days a year. Uh, welcoming uh, people to have a, a, a good time. This is the, the back side of the climbing wall. Um, so you'll be able to climb all the way from ground level up to here, which is um, 82, 83 meters. When we get uh, people skiing or climbing here, I hope uh, inevitably they will ask themselves the question, you know, what is, what is this actually for a kind of facility? And, uh, you know, being able to tell them what we are working, what we're working on, uh, transforming uh, residual waste into energy, that we're working on the, the circular economy of greening the energy system and so on. I think it's a very good story and uh, we have the possibility to talk to a lot of people that we would not uh, otherwise be able to talk to. Now I would like to welcome you to the waste to energy plant and see the, the, the heart of the energy production. Now we're going into uh, to the production hall. From here you get a very good view on the whole setup of uh, ARC as a waste to energy plant. That you see that we have actually two lines here. Each line will, will treat uh, 35 tons of waste an hour. So a total capacity of 70 tons an hour. And what you see, what you see up here is actually the flue gas cleaning technology. In the very back of the plant is where the waste comes in. So the waste comes in in the very back and it is then uh, dumped into uh, the ovens. And uh, the ovens uh, then of course uh, boil the water that makes uh, steam. The steam drives the turbines and make electricity. And the steam is also then heating up uh, water in pipes. So that water in the pipes goes into the district heating system and that uh, produces uh, heat for the, for the citizens in their radiators in their homes and also to, uh, to have a, a warm shower. We can go uh, over there. What you see up here is, is the measurement uh, station to measure continuous measurement of, of all the, the emissions that, that, we, that we have. And when it comes out of the, of the stack, uh, it is uh, very much uh, just water vapor and of course uh, CO2. We emit far, far below uh, the emission limit values. So it is uh, working uh, really well. We supply about 150,000 households of annual need of district heating. And about 60 to 70,000 households need of electricity every year. And of course we produce that on the basis of uh, of the waste that nobody can use for anything anymore, right? So it is, it is really a waste. And the alternative to, to this kind of uh, installation is that we have, uh, there's only actually two options. Either we export it to somebody who can do it, or we put it on landfill. And of course, we don't want to landfill this because it is just to push the problem to, to future generations. If you put the uh, waste on uh, landfill, then uh, you, it will, it will rot and uh, that will create methane emissions. And methane is a, is, is a greenhouse gas that is about 21 to 25 times as potent as uh, CO2. So when you take uh, waste out of landfill and put it into waste to energy, there's a huge, huge climate saving. We're working very much on trying to create waste reductions and also uh, recycling. And uh, I think, you know, we want this to happen. And in, in fact, you know, the, the day then when we have no waste at all is, is a day of feast. You know, our job is done and we can go home and we will have to close this plant. And that's actually what we're working on. But still, I think, you know, we need to, to change the production, the whole world of all products and so on. 
this will take time. And therefore, it is very clever that we built such a plant with a lifespan of about 30 years, because I think the challenge we have ahead of us is probably a 30-year-plus challenge.